from the train station to this venue, I saw two stabbings and one police car chase, so that was good. I love it, I love it, that's fur, baby. Every time I've gone out on one of those breaks, someone has offered me crack. Yeah, love it, love it. I know you guys are wondering which part of America I'm from. <laughs> Actually from Canada. Okay, all right, you don't care, that's fine, that's fine, that's okay, that's all good. Anyone here uh, from Canada? No, no, there never is. There never is. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually here with my future girlfriend tonight. Where is she at? Hey. This guy? Where? Where's my... You him? Are you my future girlfriend? <laughs> All right, well, let's do the interview process. You know, this is the uh, dating profile part of the portion here. Uh, so, uh, how long have you uh, been uh, interested in me? <laughs> Two minutes, okay, all right, that's like most women. Uh, that's, that's where it stops, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, and okay, and what's, what's your name, what's your name? Uh, Pete. Pete, okay, is that short for, that's not short for Pete file or anything like that? <laughs> Apparently your name would make a great therapist though, that's what I'm <laughs> for. So, do you do sessions? Yeah, and Pete, what do you do for a living? What do you do, uh, therapist, what do you do? Uh, it's Spreadsheet junkie. Spreadsheet junkie? <laughs> All right. I mean, I figured you were a junkie because you're in Deptford, but uh, spreadsheets, baby. This guy is over there. Pete, it's been four hours. Get away from the spreadsheet. You leave me alone. You don't have to work from home, Pete. We have set normal working hours. Quit. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Pete. Well, hey, you know, this could be uh, this could be our lucky night. This could be our lucky night. We can spread the sheets, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, Pete, I wrote you a song. Spreadsheet junkie. <laughs> uh, yeah, it took me uh, it took me a little while to write that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been working on it. So it's a work in progress. I mean, is there, you got any more lyrics you'd like to add for it? No. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. I feel like I feel like that fucking clown from It is gonna be under this stage. Any second. I'm really worried. Do not. If you see a clown under there inviting you, please do not go underneath the stage. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to do another song. Uh, this time it's not one that I wrote, but if you know the words, sing along. Okay. Scottish episode of Touch Catch a Predator. Catch a Predator. Yeah, I know. I know. Pete, you thought you were chatting to someone else, but it was me on the dating app that whole time. I was the one that invited you here to watch comedy tonight, and I forced you here. <laughs> Catfished you, Pete. It was me. I'm sexy girl 69, baby. Oh. I like this guy. You like this guy? Nope, you don't. Okay, that's fine. That guy is not a fan of this guy. Uh, what are you thinking over there, my guy? He's pretty good. He's pretty good? Yeah, okay. Well, that might just be the alcohol talking. Um, that's fine. That's fine. You took a risk. You took a risk just like you did with your photography. That's a weird way to be like, I photographed the wrong window one night. Ended up as a photographer because that's what I told the police. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, simultaneously, everyone hates me. That's fine. Uh, it's good. It's good. What was up with that weird AI joke that we came up with earlier about the baby born? How <laughs> ChatGPT could have written something better than that. I was like, what is going on? Right now? This, is, this is mental. 
baby home, baby. <laughs> baby home. Oh, my gosh. It, like, literally, if, if AI could have written a joke, it would have come out, like, better than that somehow. Right? <laughs> baby home giraffe is... I'm always worried about the AI taking my job. Anyone else here got a job that they're worried about the AI taking their job? Woo, woo. Yeah, woo, who would? Yeah, you are? Yeah, what's your job that you're worried about? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's? I have social media operations for a dating app. Oh yeah, you're uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, no, 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 it could be worse. It, uh, well, Okay, that's that's mental. Uh, I feel like it would be weird to do crowd work with you now because you were just on stage earlier, and that's the r number one rule of comedy: don't crowd work another comedian. So, uh, <laughs> my guy who hates me over here. Uh, <laughs> what's your name, sir? Adi. Adi. All right. Okay. Yeah, you look like you were surprised that I like understood uh, that. That was. <laughs> Not many letters, you know. I feel like that was, was fun. Uh, you're like, guy, yeah. Americans are learning. Yeah. Not American, at it. Um, and what do you, what do you do? What's your thing? Writer. You writer? Oh, okay. All right. So you couldn't have written a better joke for us earlier then. Um, <laughs> that was that was on you, Adi. Actually, I think we we all as a collective now like as a group of people took responsibility for your lack of writing skills. That, no, I'm kidding. I love you, man. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make myself feel better about how much you don't like me. <laughs> so I had to go hard on someone. And you know what? I'm still Canadian at the day, so I'm going to say sorry to you, bud. And that's how I'm going to finish my whole damn thing here. I'm going to say sorry to every single one of you for having to sit through what I just did here in this sweaty old Basement. I don't want to stay right in there, but if you want some crack cocaine, baby, I know the guy! Alright!